everyone. So my name is Rosana Sikandawan, a fourth year student of University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines. So in this video, I will introduce to you at least five chemicals that are available in our home. Their usage, specification, how to use, and the do's and don'ts for safety usage. So first we have here disinfectant spray. The Lysol. So Lysol disinfectant spray kills viruses and bacteria on environmental surfaces in your home and in public places. So direction for use. It is a violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with its labeling. So hold container upright 6 inches to 8 inches from surface. Shake can before use. Then spray pre-clean surface 2 to 3 seconds until covered with mist. Allow to stand 10 minutes to air dry. To sanitize, let stand for 30 seconds. To control and prevent mold and mild dew and their odors. Spray pre-clean surface until covered with mist. Repeat application as necessary. So spray on surfaces as needed. Do not use on polished wood, painted surfaces, lint leather, rayon fabrics, or acrylic plastics. So hazardous to humans and domestic animals. It causes eye irritation. Do not spray in eyes, on skin, or on clothing. In case of eye contact, immediately flush eyes thoroughly with water. Remove any contact lenses and continue to flush eyes with plenty of water for at least 15 minutes. Get medical attention if irritation persists. So it contents under pressure. Keep away from heat, sparks, and open flame. Do not puncture or incinerate container. Exposure to temperature above 130 Fahrenheit may cause worse pain. Store in original container. Keep out of reach of children. Do not puncture or incinerate. Do not reuse empty container. Discard in trash bin. Next, we have Zone Rocks, the multi purpose bleach for home and laundry. So, Zone Rocks, whether you are cleaning your home or doing the laundry, Zone Rocks is the helping hand you need to remove tough stains, odors, and germs you don't see. So, it shortens cleaning time, it removes tough stains and dirt. It deodorizes, whitens, and 99.9% .9 antibacterial protection. So directions for use. For laundry, separate whites from colorants. Avoid using on silk, wool, and fast colors or leather. In stain removal or whitening, you have to mix 2 tablespoons of Zonox per liter of water. Soak for 10 minutes, wash and rinse. For home, use Zonox on sinks, tiles, tubes, vinyl, linoleum, porcelain, and other hard surfaces. And in toilet bowls, cleanse, swish, Zonox in bowl, scrub, let stand for 10 minutes, and then flush. So caution, do not use together with other acidic cleaners or chemicals. Avoid contact with ice. Not to be taken internally. If swallowed, drink milk and call a doctor immediately. Store in a cool place, tightly packed in an upright position. powder used for cleaning clothes we can also use this one to clean tiles floors or toilet how to use powdered laundry detergent so use the 
is cooked to measure out the correct dose. So if you are using a top loader, dose detergent directly into the drum before adding dose. Then if you are using front loader, add detergent into the detergent drawer. So you have to check instructions for dosage amount and also check the fabric care labels for washing instructions before doing your planting. So the keep out of reach of children. Do not ingest. If product is ingested, seek medical advice. Keep away from eyes. If product gets into eyes, mix thoroughly with water. Keep product at a cool, dry, and clean place. Liquid. Dishwashing paste is an all-purpose kitchen cleaner that cleans and disinfects dishes, pots, pans, kitchen lavatories, and other surfaces. It also removes tough leaves, oil, food stains, and dirt. It effectively kills germs and is economical to use. So in using dishwashing detergent, you have to pour one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid into the sink with hot water. Start scrubbing lightly soiled items such as utensils and glasses, followed by plate, serving dishes, and finally the cookware. Dishwashing detergents have been known to produce skin irritations or burns. They are poisonous if swallowed. So if it is swallowed, it may cause irritation to the mouth and throat. And nausea but not death. They are generally safe to people and to the environment. So if you need to use these products, you need to be sure to always read the label first to know how to properly use products or these products and for safety information. So keep them away from small children to minimize the risk of accidental poisoning. And the last one, we have the antiseptic disinfectant. Isoprophyl alcohol. So isoprophyl alcohol for home and the hospital use as disinfectant, cleanser, and general antiseptic. It can also be used for massage or sponge bath and for relief of prickly heat and insect bites. It also contains moisturizer to prevent skin dryness and floral fragrance for pleasing skin scent. So in direction for use, pour a little amount of your hands and rub evenly the skin or apply with cotton, gauze, or clean cloth. So do not swallow. Consult a physician immediately if accidentally swallowed. Do not apply in or near the eyes. Not applicable for deep wound. Keep tightly closed and store at temperature not exceeding 30 Celsius. So keep out of reach of children. So those are some examples of